it tomorrow, we're going to see Jess's mouth frozen yeah. a little bit. Yeah, more than just a little bit. Today. I know. A we're bit. doing a little better indoors. here, though. I mean, yeah. it's fairly mm -hmm. mild mm -hmm. out there. Right. Today, chilly. Tomorrow's not as bad. It's dry, at least. We've mm -hmm. had some sunshine today, and we do have some rain on the way tomorrow. The good news is, is temperatures warming up just in time for this next system to get here. So it's going to be mainly rain with this front that comes through tomorrow into Friday. And take a look at how beautiful it is outside tonight. Look at that shot. This is from the Place One Apartments camera on Skycam 3 Live in Plymouth Meeting, looking toward the sunset, which is underway right now. We've got a few clouds starting to build in from the west, a lot of reflection out there and it just looks beautiful right now like a pastel painting in Plymouth meeting a great end to what has been a nice day to look at but a little chilly if you're outside but warmer than Minneapolis or at least close to the same today and Kutztown we do have some sun sunset colors in the sky there you can see just a little bit of light snow still laying on the grass and not much more expected to be added to that at least over the next day or two our next front is going to come through generally dry so you can see the snow showers that came through to the north here this afternoon those really wilted but that's it's a warm front and it's associated with this storm system. You can see the cold front, this line of clouds moving through the Chicago area. That's what's going to usher in that blast of even colder air for Minneapolis starting tomorrow. That cold front is what comes through tomorrow night, bringing us rain and possibly a little snow on the back edge. In the meantime, you can see winds are coming in out of the south. Now the warm front has lifted away from our area, which means temperatures aren't going to drop much overnight. We're going to stay right around the 30 degree mark with the breeze, though, outside right now. It still feels like the low 20s, so definitely an evening to bundle up. But again, temperatures not dropping too far. It's mostly cloudy, 29 degrees overnight, and tomorrow is a milder day, 47 the high, but light rain will develop by afternoon. Here's what that looks like. The front starts to move through. Most of the day is cloudy. Noon, it's still dry, but notice a couple of showers popping up around four or five o'clock around this time tomorrow. Eight o'clock clock we see rain develop down the shore and then this may end overnight or early Friday morning as just a brief period of snow or snow showers. It'll clear the coast quickly and the sun will return pretty rapidly during the day on Friday. So we're not expecting much out of this rain changing to a brief period of snow tomorrow night. A few snow showers Friday morning, little or no accumulation. Then Super Bowl Sunday, we've got some light snow changing to a mix. Your Minneapolis forecast, well, it looks a lot colder. Snow showers Saturday for the weekend, down to seven below Saturday night, and a frigid Super Bowl Sunday, just seven degrees with a kickoff temperature outside the dome, likely sub zero. Your eyewitness weather seven day forecast, colder and blustery Friday. Saturday is cold, and then a rain snow chance Sunday. Coming up, we'll talk more about the timing on that.